Ladies and gentlemen, we finally got access to the remastered graphics here in Rise of Kingdoms. As you can tell by the city skin, I am currently in a test server. This is not my actual account. Unfortunately, I would love to have this many resources and, and this many troops, to be honest with you guys. But unfortunately, this is a test server, okay, with literally everything unlocked. And it's, it's actually sick. But the point of today's video is to take a look at the remastered graphics here in the game. This has been a topic of discussion lately. Many players very excited for the graphical update some players not super excited and many players also falling somewhere in the middle where it's kind of like okay cool it's it's coming and that's great and it doesn't make much of a difference to them so today we're going to take a look at some of the graphics here in the game as you can already see we're already looking at a bunch of the things that are on the map but first what's going on guys juice now just to give you guys some context i am currently playing this on my pc the test server for the remastered graphics came out in two versions one is pc one is the android apk personally Personally, I don't own an Android device and there's no point in really testing the Android build on an emulator because it's just not gonna run perfectly smooth anyway so we're gonna take a look here at the PC version and on first impression like this is exactly what I expected the remaster to look like based on the videos and on everything that we've already looked at here on the channel if you missed that you can check it out but I was able to boot up the test server and jump right in and honestly the game runs just as smooth as the regular version that I normally play on obviously the public build that everyone one has access to now it's worth noting here in the settings that it does have an option to change between the original graphics and the remastered graphics now i'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you guys i don't know if these settings are actually going to be present in the public version of this remastered graphics this might be exclusive to the test server i actually don't know i don't have any word from the devs or anything like that i think in a perfect world the devs would probably want to have this option available for everybody but realistically my expectation um, is that this probably won't be available. That's my best guess. And the only reason that I say that is because over time, as they add new civilizations, for example, and other new graphics to the game, like let's say they add new Soroli crisis bosses and maps and things like that. As the game continues to expand with new content, are the devs going to make artwork for both the older version of the game and the remastered version of the game? I doubt that they would do that. So either they're going to just only have everyone play on remastered, which if I'm being honest with you guys, uh, most people are going to play on remastered anyway like 99 percent people there's going to be no reason not to and i'll talk about that in a minute and so for the tiny percentage of players that are actually going to want to play on the older graphics are they going to make a bunch of art assets for the older style i doubt it okay now again i hope that we can change between the two because then you know the people that want the old graphics are happy too but i just want to set that expectation that um i don't expect that to be the case although I hope that that is the case now I just mentioned that there wouldn't really be a reason to play on the older graphics and that's because if you guys missed it another rise of kingdoms creator that I've talked about here on the channel before they go by the name Ihara they've actually already posted a video on their channel comparing the frame rate for the new graphics and the old graphics and they've compared the CPU and GPU load for their Android devices and from what I can see based on their video the CPU load like the amount that the processor is actually taxed with the new graphics compared to the old graphics graphics has gone down so the new graphics the remastered graphics are actually going to perform better on your CPU from a CPU perspective however the GPU performance obviously goes up a little bit and that's because literally we're talking about graphics like GPU is the graphics processing unit like that of course of course the GPU is gonna go up when the graphics look nicer there's more of them there's more things to load in right I mean look at this we got little barrels under the trees and stuff it's actually this is it's honestly so beautiful okay so realistically if your phone got hot with the old graphics your phone's going to get hot with the new graphics if your phone was fine with the old graphics your phone is going to be fine with the new graphics there's really not going to be much of a difference from what i can tell also the official rise of kingdoms youtube channel already posted sort of frame rate uh test results with the some older iphones so now that between their data and ihara's data we kind of have a comparison with android and iphone and i mean the truth is that it's it's going to perform pretty much the same either way right so in a world where you know the game performs performs the same if not possibly better on the newer graphics because of the lower CPU load then most people are just going to play on the remaster graphics right if people only care about performance and both games perform about the same then they're going to pick the one that looks better and like I said there's already a chance that the frame rate will also just
just be improved with the new graphics anyway so from a technical perspective again there's nothing's going to change if you already struggled to run rock then you you're already going to I mean th there's going to be no change for you oh my god look at this Alliance cropland I love this dude this looks so freaking good oh my god now zooming out a bit um this is kind of what the fully zoomed out looks like I think this is very green to me I think when we're fully zoomed out well, this is I guess a little bit of feedback that I would give these walls should probably just be gray right like uh obviously we've got the little mossy grass that covers the top of them which I think think looks cute but when we're fully zoomed out I'd like to be able to tell exactly where the I mean you could see where the walls are obviously but I mean like you know it'd, it'd be kind of cool if, if there were a little bit there was a little bit more contrast there that's just my you know two cents let's take a look at a level three pass here the level three pass I mean the passes look pretty similar I don't even know if they did they I guess they changed them let's take a look at this level two pass over here yeah I mean the passes look fine I'm gonna take a look at the center of the map here we have the lost temple so I did predict this correctly this was shown in the original video this is what the lost temple actually looks like and all of the holy sites have this more like golden sort of vibe to them um it looks I mean based on the trees it looks more like fall or autumn right um and if you compare that to like the rest of the map here we've got just a bunch of greenery and lakes and and little ponds and things like that which I think is great so overall I mean honestly they already showed a lot of this stuff in the original announcement video and we already have some performance tests from other Rise of Kingdoms YouTubers I've been a little bit late to the party not that I could really test it anyway because I'm running on a PC and this is a high-end PC so it's going to perform well regardless but yeah I mean one of the things that a lot of people mention is that like they don't like how call of dragons looks and they don't want this game to look like call of dragons and i booted up call of dragons earlier today just to see like how similar these look and I mean obviously they're both built on unity they're both the same engine and there is a similarity in the color palette but the trees are totally different and also call of dragons is way more dense with like the the pine trees and everything like that so the map is actually not as cluttered and chaotic and crazy as call of dragons if i'm being honest i think call of dragons actually does look slightly better than this um so you know th that's worth noting but yeah this is kind of like a it's it's kind of like call of dragons but with less of the clutter and you know it is a bit different in terms of the actual style of the trees and things like that so I mean really when I look at this like does it remind me of Call of Dragons yeah a little bit but not not like nothing crazy I mean it's not that big of a deal and honestly like the truth is that after like a week people aren't even gonna remember that like like it's it, it's not going to affect gameplay at all it's not going to affect your experience of anything your experience is going to be better on the new graphics so I mean again once everyone like adjusts to being like okay this is how Rise of Kingdoms looks now like that there's going to be absolutely no change right and really like the truth about this graphical update and I talked about this in my video where I discussed the you know the current state of Rise of Kingdoms this was a few videos ago but the truth is that like this graphics update is for new players it's not for old players right I mean the old players that wanted this are going to enjoy it myself included I think this looks incredible this for my opinion is objectively an improvement but I guess some people can you know disagree with that if they want to but yes this will appease a lot of older older players but the truth is that this is for new players right this is you know this is for when those new players first download the game and they look at the world and okay this is actually looking beautiful right this actually looks good this is something that looks a bit more modern and you know five years from now I still think that this is going to look great and one thing that I'd like to point out right is you know a lot of people are were saying like oh well I don't want cartoony graphics it's like my brother in Christ look at his legs look at William's legs look me in the eyes okay you've been playing a cartoon game all along this is the, the game like what are we talking about right like oh I don't want it to look cartoony brother what do you bro come on bro what do you what do you mean I got bad news for you brother you've been playing a cartoon for five years now so yeah I mean at the end of the day I think this looks great obviously you know we've already pointed this out in other videos but like the trees are swaying the grass is moving like there's different types of grass and vegetation and everything I mean it looks gorgeous right and here's the thing um obviously the barbarians I think have not changed at all they'll probably update those and like the troop models in the future as well so that's you know worth noting I think they'll probably also update the commander view at some point um I don't think the commander view really needs an updating but you know if they want to make everything all aligned then that's actually probably going to come down the pipeline at some point as well for those of you that play on dot mode this is what you can expect from dot mode I mean it's it's just the same but better I mean that's really all it is in a big fight you know are you really going to care that much about this you probably won't even realize that the graphics have changed in a very big fight anyway right so yeah I mean all in all this is a win-win I mean if it performs slightly better great if it looks even better amazing it looks like I actually can walk through these trees here which I think is super cool I mean this was pretty much the case with the original graphics as well you could walk through the trees 
but in the original graphics um the trees were so rudimentary and like they were kind of a, a joke i mean it was all triangles right it's like kind of a joke um so like here i mean like you can actually kind of you could like kind of hide that dude right there you know what i'm saying i mean like in, in in zoomed out mode obviously not but um yeah i mean maybe there'll be some change in you know how people play in the open fields with the new graphics maybe they'll find that they play on dot mode less with the new graphics because it looks better and it looks nicer and you can understand things a bit better or more realistically people will continue to play that the, the same way that they've always played now just out of curiosity i am going to switch this back to the original graphics and i want to see how my city looks where it is located okay so we're going to be taking a look at the exact same spot on the map and we're going to be comparing those two things just out of curiosity to see what it actually looks like so here we go we've zoomed we've loaded back in and here it is so yeah it's just um i mean guys come on dude this is it's crazy i mean it still brings a smile on my face but like these are those trees i was just walking through right like that that that's this okay like look I know people are used to how this looks and they think this looks fine but you cannot compare this to what we were just looking at I mean this is if you're like oh this is fine like yeah it's fine but fine isn't going to keep you on the top of the leaderboards on the app store right like fine is just fine I personally think like man this is to me like again this is just it's just much better it's just much better that's I there's no other way to look at it like again these are those trees we were just pointing at the game is much better and you know once again like I've said this before but once we've been playing this for a week or two people are going to completely forget about the old graphics and I mean no one's gonna look back really but anyway guys uh, that's pretty much it I mean like I said we've already looked at a lot of this stuff here on the channel so if you want to check those videos out go ahead and do that but I'm excited I'm happy to see the new graphics come into the game and hopefully it rolls out to all of you guys in the near future if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop the thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton of helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of Kings players might see it while you're down there comment down below your thoughts on the new graphics did you watch Ihara's video about the change in performance for the different Android devices if not I'll try to remember to link that in the description below and while you're down there consider subscribing subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to be notified the next time I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.